All right, welcome back to another linear relations video. This one is on solving a system of equations using something called the comparison method. Have a look at this. Now we know what the solution to a system of equations is. We saw that in the last video. The solution is the point where I've got an x-y pair that works in two different equations and keeps them both balanced. Now the comparison method is used to find the point in two different equations where an x and a y value can be plugged in and it'll work for both of those equations. Now we're going to use the comparison method when we've got two equations that are in y equals ax plus b form. And if we weren't given the equations in y equals ax plus b form, we can always convert them to that form and then use this comparison method. So with two equations in y equals ax plus b form, we can notice that these two equations have one thing in common. They both have the y values isolated on the left side of the equal sign. And if they have the exact same y values, and in one of the equations, y is equal to 2x minus 4.5, and in the other equation, y is equal to 0.5x plus 6, if it's true that the y values in these two equations are equal, which it is at the solution, then I could also say that what's on the right side of the equal sign in these two equations must be equal to each other also. And if I do some simple rearranging here, I can get the x by itself and get an actual value for x. This is going to be the x value in the solution to this system of equations. So what I'll do is gather my terms with x in it on one side of the equal sign, doesn't matter which one, although I usually send it to the left side. And remember, to gather my terms on one side, I have to get rid of them from the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract my x's from the right side of the equal sign so they only show up on the left side. Now remember, whatever I do on one side of equals, I have to do on the other. I've got to keep every equation balanced when I'm doing this kind of work. So now I'll gather my numbers, my non-x terms, on the right side of equals. And to solve for x, I'll isolate it by dividing by the number that's in front of it. And remember, I have to do that on both sides of equals also. Now what I have here is that one specific x value that works in both equations. And it's going to pair with a very specific y value to form the solution to this system of equations. Now the burning question is, if that's the x value in the solution, how do I find that y value? Well, if I look back at the two equations I started with, I can see they both have a spot for x. Now that I have a value for x, I can take that number and plug it in where I saw the variable x in both of the original equations. I can do this because it's not an unknown value anymore. And after I plug x into both of those equations, I'm going to solve for y. Now what I'm expecting to see here is the same answer for y in both equations. Remember what the solution is. It's the point where an x and a y are the exact same in two different equations. Now remember, I don't need a graph to solve this. It just helps us picture what the solution is. It's the pair of x and y coordinates that work in two different equations. Now here are the steps that I just used to solve a system of equations using the comparison method. You'll want to write these down and keep them handy for when you're practicing. First thing, you have to make sure the two equations look like y equals ax plus b. Don't panic if they don't. You can rearrange any equation to isolate that y variable. Second step, since the y values are equal, you can drop those y values, tuck them aside, and let the rest of the two equations equal each other. The third step is to just solve for x. So gather your terms with x in it on one side of equals, and your other numbers on the other side of equals, and isolate that x variable. The fourth step is to take that value you just found for x and plug it into both of those original equations. And when you get the same answer for y from both equations, you know you've done your work properly. So the x and the y values that you just found together form the solution to a system of equations. Now watch one other example here on how the comparison method works. <laughs> 